Hello everyone, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. And today guys, we are talking oversizing, all right? Oversizing in your entire solar system configuration. How important do you think oversizing is? Or how unimportant do you think oversizing is? We'll get to know just in a bit if you keep to your end of the bargain and stick around, I'll be back shortly. Welcome back guys. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to the channel so that you can get notifications when we have brand new videos coming up that you would absolutely love to watch. All right, so let's get into it. Um, let's talk oversizing. How important do you think oversizing is in your entire system configuration? Or how less important do you think oversizing is in your entire solar system configuration? Now we have opinions from varying different schools of thought. Some people feel that it's a bit too dangerous for you to uh, do uh, oversizing in your solar system configuration. It could harm your receiving devices, which is your solar charge controller and your inverter. And, and so some people feel that oversizing is actually quite a deal for your uh, solar system configurations. So let's find out exactly which is true and which is not, which is a myth and which is a real fact on oversizing, all right? So let's drill into it. What exactly is oversizing? Oversizing means that your PV array, which is your solar panel, is much bigger in capacity than your receiving devices. And by your receiving devices, I mean your solar charge controller and of course your inverters. So let's take for instance, your inverter is a five kilowatt inverter but you're installing a seven kilowatt of solar panels, which means you've overshot the runway by two kilowatt, all right? So you have an excess two kilowatt. And some people feel this is dangerous, that it could harm your devices, your receiving devices, while some people say it's quite adequate for you to do that. All right, so let's get into it and let's just find out which is a myth and which is a fact about oversizing. So since the parameter set for deriving the true wattage in a solar panel is determined by a good weather, all right? Uh, good quality weather, ideal environment, good UV of the sun. The UV right. of the sun, which is the quality of the sun, varies from day to day, all right? So what that means is that the UV of the sun today might be entirely different from the UV of the sun of tomorrow, all right? So you could generate a lot more energy today and generate a lot more less energy tomorrow, okay? so. How do you ensure that the true wattage of your solar panel is achieved every single day? And that is where oversizing comes in. All right, so, so being able to derive the real output of a solar panel is really determined uh, by how the weather is. If you have good quality of UV from the sun, if you have good weather, if it's an ideal uh, temperature environment, if you have good weather, bad weather, or no weather at all. All right, so you have to have some form of strategy on how you're gonna replace all the lost energy across the solar panels. So if you have over 20 solar panels, all right, all mounted, and you're losing say 30 watts across board you have like 250 watts and you're losing 30 watts in each of the solar panels uh, when you bring all of them together and sum them up that's a lot of wattage that you're losing on your solar array and that's where the um, oversized strategy or oversized capacity comes into play and comes really handy to replace all the shortfalls and all the energies that you're losing across board in the solar panel to always ensure that no matter what happens you will always have a sizable amount of energy to keep your solar system configurations running at all time so I will always say um, oversizing in your solar system configuration is beautiful all right it's really very cool it doesn't harm your devices unless of course you're using aftermarket uh, receiving devices or you're using very fake devices but if you're using the original devices it ensures that it shuts out anything that is beyond the capacity so if this receiving device is for instance a five kilowatt um, if your solar array is supplying more than five kilowatts it's just going to take exactly what it needs and on reject the other one all right so it doesn't damage the device it's not going to flash the device it's not going to burn it or it's not going to make it go bad in any way all right so it's pretty much going to take what it needs and shuts off the other one so it doesn't harm it so you actually have a lot to gain when you oversize your capacity oversize your entire solar system configuration so that you can have more energy to keep your systems or whatever your power needs are in the house 
to keep running okay all so right. guys that will be all today on oversizing so if you haven't subscribed to our channels yet what are you waiting for <laughs> subscribe so we can give you notifications when we have brand new videos coming up so you will be the very first to know when those videos are coming out all right thank you guys so very much it's smiling sun everything solar installation everything inverter installation everything going green thank you guys and see you in the next video